How we doing everybody? This is That Our Nerd coming at you with a very quick video on how to do one sample hypothesis test, uh, z-test specifically. Um, so what we have here is a, a very appropriate uh, problem uh, about Joe Exotic, all right? And so Joe Exotic feeds his cubs very well. Uh, he feeds them all the leftover Walmart steaks that he can find. <laughs> And the, uh, the average weight of a cub, uh, the average weight of a cub in general, right? So this is like for the population. The average weight is 27.2 pounds. Uh, however, Joe takes a sample of 75 of his cubs um, and gets an average weight of 28 pounds with a standard deviation of 3.46 pounds. Uh, do Joe Exotic's animals weigh more than the average cubs? And we're gonna do a hypothesis test here. So. Uh, the first thing we want to do when we do hypothesis testing is we, we want to make a null and alternative. Right, so our, our null hypothesis is going to be that our mean is equal to something. Right, and so what do we, what do we expect to see happen in our null? Um, well, we expect them to be on average with uh, all the other cubs, right? So we expect them to be 27.2 pounds. Our alternative is Joe thinks he overfeeds, not overfeeds, but he feeds him well. You know, he's giving him lots of steaks and such. Um, so we're looking in one direction for this test, right? He wants to see if his animals weigh more than the average cubs. So it's gonna be more than 27.2 pounds. Right, when you're doing these hypothesis tests, your parameters stay the same, your weights stay the same, your null is always gonna be that your um, population mean is equal to something, and then you just have to switch this depending on what, what tail that you're doing, right? Um, so anyhow, uh, let's, let's erase that and make it a little cleaner. I don't know what that circle is either. It's kind of strange. All right, so let's continue on. So that's the first step, right? Second step is, uh, well, we need to know what test we're doing. And so you might need to compare uh, your, N, your sample size N uh, to a different value. For my class that I teach, we do, uh, if our sample size is bigger than 30, then we do a Z test. So for this one, we took a sample of size 75, clearly above 30, so we're gonna use the, the Z distribution and, and do a Z test. All right, so we have that. We have our standard deviation is equal to 3.46, and our X bar is equal to 28. All right, so our next step is we wanna do a, make a test statistic and your test statistic is simply just a z-score, right? Or a t if your sample size is less than 30. So we're going to do this uh, the z-test here. And what we do for this is we're going to take our x-bar minus mu divided by our standard error, which is just going to be s over the square root of n. Um, and mu is going to be whatever you base your null hypothesis on, right? So x-bar is 28. We're going to subtract 27.2. We're going to divide that by uh, S over the square root of N, which is 75. All right, I'll plug this in my calculator. 28 minus 27.2 divided by 3.46 over the square root of 75. We get 2.00. Wow. I swear to you, I didn't. I didn't plan that beforehand. I haven't even run through this yet. This is the first time I'm running through it right here. All right, so there's our z-score. So again, you make your hypotheses, you make a test statistic, and then you want to find a p-value, right? And so we plot that out. We have zero here. We have two here. And because our alternative is greater than, we're going to look in the upper tail, right? All right, so now you can use your calculator or a table. I'm a little old school, I, I like the table, so we're gonna go look at that. All right, um, so we'll come to our table with the normal distribution. We'll come down to 2.00, and some of, the, some of the tables are a little different, like some, like that show up here. Um, it might give you all the area that's to the left of your Z, uh, but for my table that I'm using here, so what's the area between 0 and z? So between 0 and z, we have 0.4772. So 
So in here we have 0 0.4772, which means our tail, which is really what we're interested in, is going to be 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4772. So we get a p-value of 0 0.0228. All right, so that's our p-value. I didn't make a level of significance because I apparently don't write good questions, um, but let's say using a 5% level of significance, you know, we'd say do Joe's tiger's way more on average is what we're looking at. And again, what, what this is saying, just an interpretation of this, just because I think it's helpful to know what we're trying to do here, what this is saying is, if that null hypothesis were to be true, right? If Joe's tigers really did weigh 27.2 pounds on average, the probability that we'd take a sample of size 75 and get an X bar of 28, the probability that that would happen is really small, right? It's 0.02, it's like a 2% chance. Um, and so what we end up saying is, well, that's probably not by chance, right? So we compare our p-value to our level of significance, which is 0.05. And, oh, I wrote that wrong there. That's 0 0.022. Anyways, it's still less. And so uh, what, what we say is we have sufficient evidence to suggest that Joe's tigers Way more than 27.2 pounds. Hmm. It's a beautiful thing, hypothesis testing. All right, hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to press like so that other people can find this video. Subscribe if you want more of the best stat content slash R content um, that's available on YouTube. And you have yourself a wonderful day. Deuces.